Dylan, my last oh. play, did you, uh, was that something you guys been working on quite a bit? Was that a, a surprise or was that something you just kind of looked at and went, okay, this is the time for it? No, we had it in the, the install. We've been working on it for a couple weeks. Uh, but, yeah, great job by the O-line. Um, great seal block on the edge by Dante Thompson, cutting off that corner and then just got to find a way to get in. So you expected that call to come sometime tonight? I mean, it was in it was in the game plan. So yeah, if, if it was the right situation, then we were going to roll with it. When's the last time you scored a rushing touchdown? My freshman year in high school. So it's, it's been a while. Were your receivers in too? I was. It was a little one yard, basically the same same type of thing, a little one yard jet sweep. So you caught everything that was thrown at you tonight. Even a ball out of bounds that they looked at, but it was probably because they just couldn't. Didn't feel like it must have been inbounds. I mean, was this a, just a special night for you? Just kind of feel it from the very beginning. I mean, that's one thing that as a receiving core that we work on every day is just. I mean, we take a lot of pride in is catching everything that comes your way. Um, you know, Nick put the ball exactly where it needed to be every time on that post. You know, perfect ball. The back shoulder fades. You know, that was one thing that was open. Um, playing a lot of bail technique, and so that the back shoulder fade was there. And you know, he put it where it needed to be, and uh, you just got to find a way to make a play. Which was your favorite out of those catches? Um, I, I don't, you know, maybe, maybe the one on, on the shoulder if I, if I had to pick, but yeah, I just, you know, I try to just put my, my team in, in every position we can to, to get in the end zone and, and move the chain. So. How much pride do you all take in getting your yards after catch? How big is that for the entire receiving field? Yeah, no doubt. Um, you know, we have some of the most electric guys in the country, um, you know, that are dangerous with the ball in their hands. Um, you got Kiki and Cam who are quick and. You know, me and Derek, who are a little bit bigger and kind of try to run people over a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's a lot of that's, we take a lot of pride in that, um, just making big plays. And uh, when your number's called, making a play. 45 45 at 90 yards to go. What you see out of Nick in the huddle at that time? Oh, I mean, he's a leader. Um, you know, throughout that whole game, you know, we never, we never had any doubt um, that we were going to go down and, and score at the end. And, um, you know, we came out hot, um, had it going. Defense was rolling the first half. Um, hats off to Arizona State. They came out in the second half ready to play and made a lot of big plays. Um, I know their receiver made a lot of big plays, running backs, quarterback. You know, they have great players. Um, they're a good team. And, you know, when it comes down to it, defense made big stops and offense made a drive to go to go win it. So that's what we got to do. What did they do defensively after you guys scored that uh, touchdown in the third quarter? Uh, there was a lull there. So it wasn't there the um, they didn't change up. Uh, you know, we just – Kind of hit a, a dry spill and um, just got to stick to what we know and, and make those routine plays. And, uh, you know, that that's that can't happen. Uh, we got to be better than that. What did Nick say in the huddle right before that last touchdown? Yeah, I mean, you know, they <clears throat> had the timeout and um, it was between that and another play. And uh, just he looked at me and, you know, he has, you know, he has some confidence in me and my teammates, they looked at me and they just said, you know, we have the confidence in you. Just find a way to get in the end zone. How about the downfield blocking tonight by the receiver group? Is that something you guys take a lot of pride in? Boy, it sure was evident tonight. No doubt. Um, you know, you see a lot of teams, guys taking plays off uh, at the receiver position in the run game, but that's one thing that, you know, we've stressed since day one is uh, downfield blocking and just, you know, doing everything, anything you can to, to help the running backs out. Um, for me, that's there's no, no better feeling, you know, Sometimes better than a touchdown. Uh, if you get that spring block and you see the running back run by you for a touchdown, uh, there's no no better feeling than that. You, know, you got asked forever, asked forever about your rapport with Pat. Um, how is it with Nick? Because it seems like y'all kind of have that same already. It seems to have already have that same kind of chemistry. Yeah, I mean, Nick's been here for almost four years now, so we've got countless reps, and uh, you know that's one thing this off season. Um, as soon as Pat declared, that's one thing that we made it a big deal and stressing every, you know, three or four times a week going out and doing extra routes and just getting that timing down. And um, I think it's it's worked out for us, and uh, we got to continue to build on it. I know you probably don't necessarily want to bad mouth an opponent, but Arizona State was last in the nation's pass defense the last two years. So if you guys kind of feel like it hey, tonight, we need to go out and take advantage of that and have a big night. Um, I didn't even know that. Um, like I said, um, they have a lot of fight in them, um, you know, down 20 points or so at halftime uh, and coming out and making it a game. And so, you know, like I said, hats off to them. Uh, but we have a lot of fight in us too. It's probably a game, the, you know, the past year or two, I'm not sure if we would have pulled it out. Um, that's one thing that we've stressed this whole offseason is 
finishing the games, and that's one thing that we, we lacked at last year. And so uh, hopefully this will uh, give some confidence and, and we'll build off of it. Hey, like I said, just uh, had some great blocks and then just find a way to get in. Uh, kind of maybe thought I had what I would have a chance to have to dive at it. Um, you know, really focusing on staying in bounds no matter what because want to keep the clock running. Um, and then had a chance um, and had to make a play. So, how does it help being a team under this much pressure and you know, in a game that's a must win for them? Yeah, um, I don't even think we thought thought about it like that. Uh, we just approach every game the same and, um, you know, prepare as well as possible and go out there and try to make plays and, and uh, help our guys out and, and get the win. So I think, I think we approached it as, as if we were uh, going against anybody in the country.